Welcome to ITK Barcamp session about how to construct a module inside ITK v4. For those who are still new to the modular structure in ITK, hopefully this video will help you better understand uh, the modular structure and also will help you to start your own um, module. So all the details about the modularization, about his history, and, and uh, all the information for developers and users are listed here. Um, this video will focusing on will be focusing on the CMake code that help you construct a module. And thanks to Brett Loham who actually put uh, a template module here in this uh, Git repository. So I'm going to um, demonstrate the modular structure with this um, a toy external template uh, module he created. So let's look at the uh, uh, my console here. So as you notice that after the modularization, uh, there are more than a hundred modules in uh, different in different groups. For example, if you go to um, filtering and if you look at any of the module, let's try look at the the grid module. And you can see there are two most important CMake, um, CMake file that contains the magics to construct ITK module. And let's first look at this one. So here it just tells you the, the name of the module is ITK image grid. And then this is a, a seeming macro that help you construct a module. So for for each individual ITK module, you have to have this um, macro on the top CMake list here. And also, this file is also important to specify the module dependency in this function, ITK underscore module. So you list your module name here, and then tells, tells the um, the build system that ITK image grid is depending on ITK image function module and ITK image filter base module. And then test depends is for the testing module um, that is um, included when you are building your own module if you turn the testing on. Its corresponding testing module will be, will be built as well. And then for testing purposes, um, the common depending module is ITK test kernel. So this you have to list it there. And because I think image grid, some of the testing code will be using um, uh, classes in registration common and smoothing and image source. So those are also listed just for testing purposes. And if you look at the, uh, the comments here, it's just saying why the extra testing dependency is introduced. And this is the class that actually uses the code from ITK registration common. Um, it's, it's nice to keep the documentation uh, here. And this documentation sentence is just trying to um, put the uh, a illustration, uh, put the explanation of, about what this module uh, is for. And then this will um, be extracted by Docsgen and put it on the documentation page for ITK. So, so this is the brief um, introduction about the modular structure. And for this particular um, module we're looking at, it doesn't. It has only templated code. So all the code is actually in here in the include in the include directory it contains the template file and its header files and there's also a testing directory where you put your testing codes here so this is a pretty much um, it's a very representative module um, that we have in ITK v4 and now we're going to uh, play with the template module that Brett Lokham has created. 
in the uh, git repository here. So if I just do git clone this one to my external uh, group inside my source tree here, let's go here. And if I just do git clone, um, I already have a copy, so OK. This is the simplest template module you, you can have. And um, if you look at the CMake list, sorry. It's a similar. You have to define the, uh, the uh, CMake macro. And you have to specify the modular uh, module dependencies here. And then it's, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, this is just the same thing as set documentation with the string. And this particular string is sourced from the uh, readme file here. So, um, and also it contains, the template module contains, you know, some source code. And And also the uh, uh, C++ implementation is uh, located under the source subdirectory. And you can do your um, add library and target link library sentences here as before, um, you know, before the modularization. And so you also need to include this macro, I think module target will actually include this particular module um, into the build system. So those are the little things you need to be careful. And then the testing CMake list will also include this um, ITK module test macro. So this has the similar functionality as ITK module impo, which just uh, trying to um, do the CMake magic to wrap up the testing uh, testing code into a testing module, and uh, you list your test codes here. Um, also, um, ITK v4 has this um, convenient way for for you to create a test driver, and and then you can just follow this exact format um, and add your test using this macro itk add test and put your test name there and then this is the command line you should be running and the only thing you need to customize according to your test code is actually the arguments here so yeah you can always dig in deeper if you want to you know really understand what each macro does. Um, but the uh, the template code here um, is really convenient to to be directly adopted into your own um, ITK module. So let's go to the build tree then. So now after I copy the template module into my source, source tree, and then in my build tree, I can um, just take a look. So uh, one of the benefits of modularization is you don't need to build the entire toolkit. Instead, you have choices of um, choosing different combinations of modules and different groups of modules. So here we put the external uh, module. The name is called ITK external template. So I can just uh, search for that module name. And you have to push uh, letter T to go to the advanced mode. So here you go, module ITK external template. And I can turn it on so that my build system will pick this module up and then configure it for me. Um, you can see all those modules are, you know, because I didn't turn on the um, their, their group, uh, their beline groups. So by default, they're all off, but you can turn each module individually. Um, 
manually in this uh, CIMIC process. So now I turn that external module on and I'm just configuring it. So now in my build system, I go to this folder external and I can see my uh, uh, little module here and you can do a uh, to make so this will build your testing module and the source module all together and if you want to actually run the test you can do C test here and we do have a one empty test here and it's passing now so I think this pretty much shows you how to um, construct your own module and then um, this build process is really really easy um, just by playing with the CMake variable and then inside here you can also go to the source directory to to build your uh, source code the library you are creating and um, yep yeah. I think this pretty much um, concludes this demo and one last little thing about the module external module is um, we also have a, a remote module concept so in the remote group of the source tree you can see here we have a remote group so inside group right now uh, we only have one module lesion sizing toolkit module and the uh, comparing to the external module the benefits of remote is having the remote group is you can actually um, um, specify the URL of your external module and then let the CMake um, join the you know CMake process to automatically fetch your source code to your source um, source code to, into your ITK source tree, um, and then this will um, save the user extra step to go uh, manually do the git clone thing. Um, and ideally, we hope there are more contributors who are working uh, on specific ITK applications. They could always use this. Um, um, structure here to put a little CMake uh, snippet um, to list their the URL for their Git repository and then you can also tag the numbers so that it's always um, make sure that it's synchronized with with ITK and and the users will be easily to uh, to be able to um, download your code and compile your code um, in their local computer. All right, I hope this video is helpful for those who are interested in um, building their own ITK modules. Um, thank you very much.